Hi, everybody. Uh, Haley has brought to my attention a, a problem with the homework. I thought it was fixed, but now I realize that it's not. Um, I think starting with 13.9, the view and example button is not available to you. This is not a problem that I can fix now. I will have it fixed for the fall semester, but for you, we're going to have to use a workaround. And this video is to show you how to use a workaround. So I'm going to pretend I'm a student doing a homework assignment. So uh, I come to my home page and I click on homework. And let's say I want to do 13.9, which is where Haley first noticed the problem. And for example, suppose I wanted to do number eight. All right, when I look at the right hand side of to the right of the homework, I see that there's a textbook button and an ask my instructor button and a print button, but there is not a view an example button. And there actually is a view an example available to you. I just have to show you how to access it. What you do is you above these three buttons, print, ask my instructor and textbook, above these three buttons, and above the problem, you see a number, 13.9.27. I think by now you know that that means chapter 13, section 9, textbook problem 27. So even though it's number 8 in Linda's assignment, number 8 in Linda's assignment comes from textbook problem number 27. So 20, 19, I'm sorry, 13.9.27, I need to write that down or remember it. Then totally minimize this page. I'm going up to the very top, top right corner. I'm not Xing it out, I'm just minimizing it. And I minimize and I get back to my wallpaper. At my wallpaper, I click on Internet Explorer and I pretend that I am not logged into Course Compass. I uh, go to my math lab and I go ahead and log in again. After I log in again, I again go to my the course that I'm doing for Linda, Math 280, Summer 2012, and I get to my home page. Now, uh, if I go down here, you'll see that the home page shows up twice. That's exactly how I want it. And the reason is, is uh, what I'm about to do, if I try to do it using only uh, Course Compass opened up once, uh, Course Compass kept trying to override uh, the window I had, and uh, maybe you might be smarter with your computer, but uh, this is this is what I figured out that works. So anyway, I, I log in twice. That's my solution. Now, uh, I go to Study Plan. It's right the very bottom uh, key for you, Study Plan. I click on Study Plan. And I don't know if you've uh, played in here before, but um, this, is, this is a rather helpful place to be. But uh, it can be a rather intimidating, because you can see with chapter 13, there are 335 problems for you to work on. So no, no end of problems for you to practice on. Uh, I'm interested in 13.9, number 27. So after I click on 13, I click on 13.9. And I look for number 27. It's in the first column, 13.9.27. I click on that. And it's not going to be the exact question from my homework. That You can see the numbers are a little bit different. Well, I think they're different. We can go back and check. But most important 
is that you've got a view an example and a help me solve this. And so um, what I would do is, I, th I find most people like view an example uh, and I just, uh, you know, read as much as I want on the view an example. And then when I'm done, well, here's the thing that's probably going to be tricky for you. When I'm done, I have to be careful not to do this problem because this problem is in the study plan and it won't show up on my homework. Shall I say that again? I want to make sure you got it. The place where you get view an example is in the study plan. If you do the problem in the study plan, that's great, but you won't get any credit for it. Uh, for credit, you've got to go back to your original homework assignment, the Linda's homework assignment. Right now, I'm in study plan. If I look at the tag here, it says study plan practice. So I don't want to do my homework here. I want to go back. So I'm going to uh, come down here. I don't know how your computer works, but mine, I, it'll open all, show me all my windows so that I can choose which one I want. So you can see that the third one from the left is do a homework, and the fifth one from the left, the one that's on the far right, is my study plan practice. And I want to be sure that I do my homework, because that's what Linda cares about. Um, and so I go ahead and I do this problem. And uh, let me just run through it again with, say, number seven. Uh, so here's number seven. There's an instructor tip because I thought the viewing example wasn't available, uh, but it probably is. I'm not sure. So I'm in my do homework. I minimize that. Well, actually, I don't, I'm not going to minimize it. Uh, instead, I'm going to go over to my study plan. And, uh-oh, wait. That doesn't help me because I don't know what number it is. All right, let's go back to the homework. All right, go back to do homework. Number seven is 13.9.25. 13.9.25. So now go back to study plan. And I want to see, uh, I'm going to use the back arrow. I'm looking for 25. There it is, right there. 13.9.25. And there, oh great, there is a view and example. So I can look at view and example and then go back to my homework and do the problem. So I, I, I don't think you'll have any trouble with this, but let me know if you do. All right, signing off. See you later. Bye-bye.